Okay, good morning, everyone. It's it's right bang on time, 11 o'clock in the morning. So, so far, so good. All right, let's just see how we're doing. Let me just so, see. So far, so good. Are we joining All in? All right, let's just see how we're doing. Let's just see. I've, I've done a watch party. I've never done that before. So that's a bit of a new thing. Um, so I'm just waiting to see who's coming in. All right. How does this work? Okay, so waiting on people joining in. We're live. Yeah, after quite a lot of uh, hassle on Friday. Sorry about that. Yeah. So just put in the comments if you're hearing me and if you're seeing me and um, we'll get started. We have a wonderful, uh, a wonderful content uh, this morning. But I want to hear from you. This is about interactivity. This is about community. This is about us getting together so um if you can hear me if you can see me just stick it in the comments hello something that would be great you know you've got these hearts there and the, and the like uh, icons just do a few of these also would be good wonderful so I'm just checking just to make sure if we've got people on. We've got, we've got some advice from the astronauts up in the space center. Okay, so if you want to hear what the advice of the astronauts are this morning, then share this with your friends. Okay, so I'm just um, waiting to see if there's any comments coming in, how this works. Never done a watch party before. So um, it would be wonderful if you could make a comment or something like that, just so that um, I can see what's going on. Okay. How does this work? Oh my goodness, this is new. Okay, everybody, I'm going to do a real good mindful session today, getting into the present moment, get into the working that flexible attention muscle so if you want to work that flexible attention muscle this is the place to be so share this with your friends family let's get a whole bunch of people on here this morning and we can really really get things going okay wonderful i can see people are joining but i'm not seeing any comments so if you can put any comments just try and know that you're there that would be wonderful We've got um, advice from the astronauts this morning. We've got a brilliant mindful um, exercise that's going to take us to that wonderful feeling of safeness. And that's really important that we're feeling safe. We're into the third week now here in the UK. Our prime minister is in hospital. A lot of us will be feeling a little bit of strain and possibly raise the stress levels. So we've got really great... Um, We've got really great uh, content for you today. Oh, Lilach is here. Okay, good. I'm beginning to see that people are, are logging on. That's fantastic. So we've got the mindful exercise that's taking us to a safe environment, a place where we can feel that we can be without any danger. We've got advice from the astronauts uh, this morning. We've got um, a beautiful, flexible attention exercise. We've got to get our flexible attention muscles exercise this morning. This helps us deal with everyday stresses and distresses. So, <laughs> Lilach is in the house, and that is fantastic news. Lilach, I want you to share this, spread around the news that we're on. Anybody else uh, that comes on, just give a little hello, just give a little thumbs up, um, share, like, tag, 
everything we're doing today so that many, many people can benefit from this. We're going to start in one minute. All right. So spread this around the people you know, share, like, tag, some hearts going up there, some thumbs up going up there. Come on, let's see it moving. We're going to start in less than a minute. We're going to do some really good stuff. I can understand if um, your distress levels are going up this week. We're moving into a little bit more than short-term um, confinement in our houses, okay? So for some, that might be a little bit of a pressure pot coming up in the house, a little bit of frustrations, a little bit more worry, a little bit... Um, more distress in the household, okay? So really, really uh, need to focus on the kindness, kindness to others, kindness to ourselves. Okay, we were learning all last week from world experts, a little bit of a how to do that, how to slow down, how everything that we're doing here on the Total Mind Fitness Workout is solidly backed up in really good science. And we're hearing from the experts and they are, passing over to us their great wisdom and knowledge and scientific research on the best ways of handling through these days. And we're passing it all over to you. So we want you to share this and like this and spread the word so that others can benefit from this as well. All right. So stick in a little icon, stick in a comment. If you've got any questions, if you want to tell me how you're doing today, then you can stick it in the comments and we can actually interact about that. All right. So um, tell me how you're getting on. What's your situation? What's happening in your environment, in your house? Are you on your own? Are you with people? Are you going through a certain amount of distresses and stresses? Or are you managing to get through? Okay, that's also great. You know, everybody has to be in distress. So let's get some of the comments in so we can start sharing this with others and seeing what's going on. Every time I look, I'm just looking at the uh, at the comments just to see if there's anything coming in. So feel free to put in whatever um, whatever is you're feeling at the moment. All right. So here we are, Monday morning, the sixth of April, um, and we're going into third week of lockdown here in the UK. Our prime minister. Is, um, has been admitted to hospital. We're not quite sure what his situation is. All we know is that he's continued after 10 days um, suffering from symptoms of the virus. And so he's taken in for some checks. We are going to use this Total Mind Fitness Wellbeing Workout to deal with our stresses and distresses that we're going through in our environments, in our families, in our households. And one of the things that's really important is that we have this feeling of safety. And we were talking over the last two weeks about dividing what's in our control to what's not in our control. And this is really important that we continue to revisit this on a daily basis. Most of our worries, most of our distresses, a lot of it is coming up from what is not in our control. Okay, so we need to be able to lay that down, take it with us, but have a little bit of distance between that. And then move over to what's in our control, okay? What's in our control is our behaviors, okay? We can wiggle our fingers, we can have a good stretch, we can move our bodies. This is really important that we begin to take control over our bodies because our brain will understand that, okay, we're taking control. We can take control of our behavior in our environment. We learn that we can, um, be kind to others. We can be kind to ourselves. We can slow things down a bit. But remember, we're all working on high revs at the moment because the threat is, uh, is building our emergency systems and turning it on. And so our revs are, are raised. So we might have a little bit less tolerance for other people. We might be much more on edge. We might be a little bit shorter tempered. Okay, so we have to take this into consideration, acknowledge this, okay? Acknowledge how we're feeling and offer kindness and help to those around, immediately around us and to those a bit further away by making even telephone call. 
seeing how people are. So one of the things is how can we take ourselves a little bit to that safer place, to that place where we can feel a little bit more comforted, okay? So I'd like to take you through an exercise right away, first thing this morning, and take you through a, a nice, mindful, um, guided, uh, safe uh, environment type of exercise. So if you'll join me in this, I'd like you to um, sit upright, okay? So it's really important, our posture, okay? I don't want you to strain yourself, but sit back in your chair, two feet on the ground. It's really important that um, our posture, our posture sends signals to our brain and those signals, um, if you're sitting up straight and we're sitting openly, so you can put your hands on your lap, feeling that openness, okay, will send safety signals to your brain. And that's really important. It helps settle everything down and then you can start problem solving and thinking much straighter and much more efficiently. So that's really important that we do. So sitting back, feet on the ground, you can take your shoes and socks off if you wish, hands on your lap, okay? And I want to just, well, let's take two breaths. So breathing in through our nose, for three, holding in our lungs and out through our mouth for five. Very good. Okay, in through our nose, holding it and out through our mouth. Okay, wonderful. Just let that marinate in as you sit back, two feet in the floor, hands on your lap. Now, you might want to close your eyes for this exercise, or you might want to just gaze at a spot on the floor, okay? Whatever is comfortable for you. Just let yourself fit into your chair comfortably, taking where you are in the room, have a look around you, just settle in, okay? And I want you to allow that breath to take on a slow, comfortable rhythm. Just focusing on the sense of slowing down. Slowing down the body. Slowing down your mind. Now imagine yourself in a beautiful place. For me, that place would be a beautiful beach. Beautiful beach, just taking that beach. Beautiful day. Notice who's around you. Notice what sounds you're hearing. Notice what sounds are closer to you and what sounds are further away than you in the distance. Take a deep breath in and smell that beautiful sea air. Even if you've never been to the beach, you can use your imagination just to see those waves crashing in, the sun shining, the sand is soft under your feet. And you breathe in that fresh, salty air. Listen for the sounds you can hear around you. Can you hear the waves? Can you hear the wind in your ears? Can you hear distant voices, maybe children laughing and playing?
Look around you what images that you can take in. The blueness of the sea, or maybe green. The brilliantly blue sky with the odd white cloud. It's your scene. You can paint it any way you wish. This is your place. It's warm and peaceful. And you can feel the sun shining on your face. Possibly the wind is gently blowing through your hair. And maybe you can hear the odd seagull or the waves crashing. Allow yourself to be filled with feelings of safeness, peacefulness and joy at being in this wonderful place. Maybe allow a gentle smile to cross your face as you enjoy being here. Take it all in. Notice in your body what it feels like to be filled with that peacefulness and that joy. Where does it show up in your body when you feel safe and at peace and full of joy? Let's notice this. And just focus in that beautiful feeling. It doesn't matter even if you're not experiencing anything at this precise moment. Just enjoy being with me and listen to my voice as we sit here for a few minutes, enjoying the space, enjoying the peace, the inner peace that we can create for ourselves. Imagine that the seagulls you hear are happy that you are here or the people around you are really happy that you're here and with them. There are many people that are one feeling great that you're with them. Imagine that they welcome you. They value you. They're really happy that you are here. Let this all sink in. Focus on how this feels in your body. what sensations you're having. Notice them without judgment. They're not good, they're not bad, they just are. Imagine that this place itself 
welcomes you. This beautiful place, it values your presence almost as if you complete it. It is happy you're here. Acknowledge your thoughts. Acknowledge your emotions. Acknowledge those body sensations at this time. Take this time to imagine being in this place. Filled with the feelings of safeness, peace, joy, and contentment. Imagine and take note of all the sensations that come with being in this place. Just sitting here still, just notice what's showing up in your body as you imagine this peace, this contentment, this stillness. And imagine all the sensations that are showing up with being in this place. Continue to breathe normally. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. When you're ready, gently shift your attention to your breath. And allow your eyes to open and come back. Well, have a good stretch, guys. Wiggle your fingers, move your neck, move your whole body. Okay, just wake it up. Wow, how was that? Any comments? What would that experience was like? Stick them in the comments. Let's see how you guys are doing. Okay. I've got no idea how this watch party is working, but I'm soldiering on anyway. Wonderful. So I hope you can hear me and I hope you can see me because I've never done this on a watch party before. So this is new for me. News, uh, breaking news from the space station. Um, way up there in uh, space, where you'd probably find the space station, um, we have the astronaut Jessica Meir. And Jessica has not experienced any of what we're experiencing down here on the planet Earth. All this coronavirus um, 
crisis, she's up there on space and she has great advice uh, for us regarding how to get through this period. Remember, it's um, probably quite uh, a different experience being there in space. You kind of also, you're contained within a short, small space. You only have the people around you and you have to learn how to get through these conditions. And so she has similar advice for the way we are um, living. And she says, keep to a routine, okay? Number one is keep to a routine. And that is what we are trying to do here in Total Mind Fitness. Every morning at 11 o'clock, at least you can have that in your routine. And then you can build around that. Some things before that, some things after that, some things in the evening and night. Have points through your day that you have a routine. And Jessica advises us that that would be a great way to keep ourselves stable during this time. Have some sort of exercise, okay? So... If you can go out and exercise, that's great. If you can even do steps within um, your own environment, that's great. We've had people here doing marathons in their garden, just running around and running around the garden. I know people who do 10,000 steps a day just in their living rooms. So it is possible. Or do a few press-ups or sit-ups or use the furniture or just your body weight to do some exercises. So Jessica tells us, have a routine, have some exercises. Keep in contact with friends and family, okay? And also use this Total Mind Fitness for us to keep in contact with each other, okay? So this is part of our community here, building on this Total Mind Fitness community where we can keep in contact for each, with each other, but also with your other friends and family, whether it's just a quick telephone call, that's all right. We learned from our ex experts last week that that's fine. Even just a text message, how are you doing? As I keep bringing up my next door neighbor every couple of days, phones, do you need anything? Don't need anything, but just the fact that they're calling me is everything, much more than the food that they're offering to, to get for me. So that's really important, have a routine have our exercise and keep social, everybody. We talk about social distancing, but it's only about physical distancing. We can keep social. We can keep in touch with friends and family and we can come in to the Total Mind Fitness um, weekday workshop. So Adam Layton is in the house, fantastic. So great, so I'm seeing that there are people on the other end Keep sharing, liking, lots of hearts. Let's see the hearts coming flying up for our friends and family and for getting through this. So what we did there was a beautiful, um, a beautiful mindful place of getting into our safe place. So what about getting into the present moment? And one of the ways we can do an exercise to get us into the present moment, to get, build that flexible muscle of attention, okay? Is that we're gonna do what is called the hand noticing exercise. Now, if I remember correctly, this is one of Adam's favorite exercises, okay? So this will be wonderful. So Adam, lots of lights from you on this exercise. So very easy to do because hopefully we all have our hands available. Okay, so just put your hand in front of you. And we just want you to notice your hand. This is about a flexible exercise of attention. Okay, so I think Adam's put a, a like up for loving this exercise. So in a moment, I'm gonna ask you to notice your hand, okay? So just put your hand in front of you, just look at your hand. And what we're gonna do is really, really notice it. Okay, so just notice how it is. Just as like you've never seen your hand before, okay? So it's quite a simple exercise, but it's really, really powerful. So it's as if you've never seen your hand before, okay? So I'm gonna ask you to look at it for a few minutes, all right? But before we do that, I'd like to know what your mind is predicting about the next few minutes, okay? So Adam, you know, what's coming up? What thoughts are coming up, right? Um, when I tell you we're going to look at our hands for the next couple of minutes, what thoughts come up in your mind? 
Okay, so just notice what they are. If you want, stick them in the comments. All right, so stick in the comments what thoughts are coming up when I'm telling you that this exercise is about just looking at our hand for a few minutes. Okay. Yeah, so Adam's um, driving the car, so that wouldn't be a good um, thing to exercise to do at the moment. So don't be doing this exercise. Um, but definitely, um, thanks for your um, sharing that comment. That'd be great. All right, so let's check it out and see what happens, okay? So get into a comfortable position, all right? Just straight back, two feet on the floor. And just turn one of your hands, palm upwards. Just have a look at your palm. And hold it at a comfortable distance from your face. And just tap in now to this sense of curiosity. Right? We're being we're investigating. We're like a scientist. We just want to do this little experiment and discover for the next few minutes by observing our hand. And if a scientist is not something that you want to identify with, well, then just a curious child who's never seen a hand before. So let's start with the shape. So if you had an imaginary pencil, just trace the outline of your hand with this imaginary pencil. So start at the base of your thumb and tracing around all the fingers. Just notice the shapes of the spaces in between the fingers. And notice where your hand tapers at the wrist. And now observe carefully the color of your skin. You may notice that it's not just one color. There are different tones, different shades. And just ever so slowly stretch your fingers out. Push them as far back as they will go. Really stretch those fingers. And notice how the color changes. And then just slowly release the tension. And notice how the color in your skin returns. Do that again. Stretch your fingers out. Notice that change of color in your skin and just relax. Noticing the color disappearing and returning. And now notice the large lines on your palm. Notice the shapes they make where they come together or diverge or even intersect. Let's zoom in on one of those lines and notice how there are many smaller lines feeding into it and branching out of it. And now shift your attention to one of your fingertips. And notice the spiral patterns there. The pattern that you always see on fingerprints. And notice how the pattern doesn't stop in your fingertip. It carries on down your finger. And trace it right on down and notice how it continues right down your palm.
And now ever so slowly, bring your little finger towards your thumb. And notice how the flesh in your palm scrunches up. And now slowly release. And notice the flesh resume its normal contours, its normal shape. And now turn your hand to the karate chop position. And notice the difference between the skin on the palm of your hand and the skin on the back of your hand. And look at your index finger and notice there's a sort of dividing line where the two types of skin meet each other. And ever so slowly turn your hand over and notice the skin on the back. Notice any criticisms of judgments your mind is making at this moment. What thoughts are coming up? Notice that. Notice any scars, sunspots, blemishes, or any other marks. And notice the different colors on the skin, where it passes over a vein or over your knuckles. And ever so slowly, Curl your hand into a gentle fist. And notice how the texture of your skin changes. Just take note of any comments your mind makes about that. And if you find your mind wandering, that's fine, that's normal, and that's expected. And just bring it back to your fist and focus in on your knuckles. Gently rotate your fist and notice all the contours and valleys and hills of your knuckles. Now tighten your fist. Notice what happens to the knuckles, to their color and to their prominence. And then ever so slowly open up your hand and straighten your fingers. And notice how your knuckles just disappear. Now bring your attention to one of your fingernails and notice the texture of the nail and the different shades of color. And notice where it disappears under the skin and look carefully and you'll notice the cuticle that seals it in there. And now ever so slowly, ever so gently, wiggle your fingers up and down. And you'll notice the tendons moving under the skin. Pumping up and down like pistons and rods. And when you're ready, just come back. Have a good stretch. Wiggle your fingers, move your head, clap your hands. Wonderful. Okay, so that's going to be it for today's Total Mind Fitness Wellbeing Workout. 
We really worked hard on our flexible attention muscles, really built that safe and wonderful, comforting and joyful place that we can go to. Um, and we got some great advice from the astronauts up there in space. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. We're building a community. We're being together. See you tomorrow at 11 a.m. And before we go, just to let you know, at 7 o'clock UK time tonight, we have Mark Webster in the house. Yeah. And it's worthwhile joining us. He's an expert in recovery. He'll have plenty, plenty good advice for all of us. And I look forward to seeing everybody there here on Facebook Live. Um, I look forward to uh, seeing you tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Thanks for joining. Have a good day. Stay safe. Be healthy.